Hello. Welcome to a video series dedicated to advanced flying maneuvers and tactics to employ while flying the Transport Kiwi in Rising Storm 2, Vietnam. Quick disclaimer, this video is for those of you who already know the basics of flying and have their control set up to where they're comfortable flying. If this isn't you, no worries, I'll leave you a few videos in the description that'll be for you new pilots. We'll start off our series with learning the J-hook maneuver. This is without a doubt the most important maneuver to learn, as this maneuver allows you to transition from cruising flight to hover with the least amount of risk. To perform the J-hook landing, you fly parallel to your intended landing zone, drop full collective, and turn in using both cyclic and anti-torque. You can also increase or decrease the turn radius mid-turn. In this example, we'll be doing a left-hand J-hook. If you want to increase the turn radius, apply more left and back cyclic. To decrease the turn radius, apply forward cyclic and opposite anti-torque. If you were to do a right-hand J-hook, all the cyclic and anti-torque movements are the same, just in the opposite direction. Alternatively, if you want to avoid having to fix your turn radius mid-turn, you can change how you approach. Say you want to make a sharper turn, as there may be an obstacle on the other side of the landing zone. It's quite simple to do so. All you need to do is increase your bank angle at the start of the J-hook. 40 to 60 degrees of bank should be sufficient. However, it's very much situation-based. And the opposite is true if you want a more gradual turn. Just remember, the sharper the J-hook is, the quicker the turn happens. You will need to increase collective at the bottom of the J-hook to prevent damage to the helicopter. You are also able to do quick braking action. This is useful if you misjudge how hard you feel you need to turn. Let's say we're doing a right-hand J-hook. If you need a quick braking action, you'll need to keep the cyclic as far right and back as possible. Apply opposite anti-torque, and then increase collective. Be careful with applying collective mid to J-hook, as this bogs down the rotors, leaving you with less RPM. That's really all there is to the J-hook maneuver. It's not very complicated, hence the short video. As the video series goes on, the maneuvers will get more difficult. After the maneuvers, we'll be moving on to the tactics. So expect those to come out in the near future. The next video will be covering pinnacle landings. So stay safe and have a good day.